Yo guys, Superior David here, and today I'm going over what I think is the best Beast Druid list for ladder. I played a variety of lists in Legend, and the one I'm going over now performed the best, taking me from just outside the top 500 to top 250 with a 78% win rate, so just really good stats. Uh, this deck, for those who are blissfully unaware, revolves around ramp and fast without overgrowth and OPOP Lightning Bloom to get down that early Guardian Animals to gain tempo with our powerful mid-range beasts. Uh, in my deck, I've decided to go with two Twilight Runners for that consistent card draw, but only one Teacher's Pet, because instead, we're running two Lake Threshers, which are for sure better in the mirror, but might actually be better overall. Uh, like, yeah, you know, like Lake Thresher doesn't have Taunt, but it can clear off potentially three of your opponent's minions and then possibly lock them off the board, which is game-winning against a like board-based deck. So I think it's worth it to run two of them to more consistently pull one off of Guardian Animals. And then if your opponent doesn't immediately concede after you cheat out of Guardian Animals, we've got a uh, couple Overflows to reload, then Ysera and Survival the Fittest for that late game pressure. Uh, the cherry on top here is that you could often play all these expensive spells I mentioned in the same turn with Kael'thas, which I think has just become more consistent to build around due to the extra card draw this archetype has gained from Twilight Runner. And, you know, that's why I'm not really a fan of the Exotic Mount Cellar version of this deck, because I feel like, you know, I use all my cheap spells to go off with the Exotic Mount Cellar, and then I have none left to abuse with Kael'thas which you get more consistently now. And it feels bad when you can't pop off with the Kael'thas, so we're not running Exotic Mount Cellars. Uh, the rest of the list is pretty standard, except for the Living Dragon Breath, which I specifically teched in for those uh, Freeze combo mages that have been all over ladder the past week. Uh, but if you're not running into like any mages, you could totally swap this out for Speaker Ghidra, and I think it would perform better against aggro. And Speaker Ghidra is also a potential late game threat in itself. The mulligan for this deck is actually super easy because you're basically just looking for your OP cards every game. The two best cards are easily overgrowth for that insane ramp and guardian animals to get back the tempo that you're losing by ramping in the early game. Uh, then you're also looking for Lightning Bloom and Kael'thas for Ramp and Mana Cheats. I think you can keep Nature Studies. I always do if I have Overgrowth so I could like get that down on turn 3. But I think the other cards I mentioned are better. And people seem to overvalue the Nature Studies uh, in the Mulligan just from what I've noticed personally. And with that, we're going to get into that superior gameplay now. I've got two really fun games that show off the power of this deck. So I hope you enjoy both of those. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you still have any questions about the deck. Or as always, you can ask me over on Twitch where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Link will be down in that description. Thanks for watching. Stay superior, guys. I'll see you later. Unethical. Yeah, I know that. He really botched that one. He's definitely, like, if, he, if, he, if Hotmail is streaming right now, I don't see him streaming. He, he must be very salty about that. I'd be so salty. All right, this deck could go ham really fast, so we got to just be ready for things. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to play this. I'm going to go for this. <clears throat> Just, we could, we, it allows us to curve out these next couple turns and contest the board against this aggro deck. He's just like super confused. He's like, is this guy playing a beast druid? A token beast druid? Ysera's what beats you? Oh. Yeah, that'll do it. Ysera's pretty good. And now we just play so he doesn't go face. We dump out the Emperor Cobra next turn. Oh, he's Galakron. Okay. Well, you, you said this is a favorite matchup. <clears throat> you just clipped it? Quetcher, you clip everything. Yeah, I don't know if Partner Simon was really the best play. It felt, felt good to me there. Honestly, the better play would have been probably mulliganing away Nature Size and getting Overgrowth. Oh, we got Overflow. Okay, so next turn we, we do busted things. Next turn we go Coin, coin Innervate, Kael'thas, Overflow. I think Kael'thas actually is quite core to this deck, the more I think, the more I play it. It allows you to just do this, like the stupidest combos. And we need to get Lightning Bloom. Lightning Bloom or Innervate. And we can do more busted things. Yeah, we're not running Moonfires anymore. Dear God, that is a that's a lot of a lot of stuff on the board right now. I'm not crazy, smorking us down. I could even hold. Actually, I'm gonna hold off on the Kael'thas one more turn. I'm doing this because I want to be because now if we top that if we get the uh, Guardian Animals off of the Overflow, we could we could Kael'thas Guardian Animals in the same turn. We have, like, a lot more busted things we can do this turn now. 
Just being able to get two spells off with Kale this next turn seems really powerful. And actually, wait, I just realized that these will not be at seven mana. I guess we'll have the coin, though, so we, we could get nature studies. Uh-oh, he has Galakrond. Right, Soulfire? Oh, they don't run They don't run rights. No one runs rights in this deck anymore. It's, it's not... After, the, after it was nerfed to four mana, it really died off. Oh, we have two one mana spells we could draw off this. Wild Growth? No, fine. We'll go for it. We'll go for it. These people are addicted to it. We got the nature studies. There we go. That's all we needed. No guardian animals, though. That's really rough. That was actually a horrible overflow for us. Dear God, are you kidding me? Um, we just lost. We just lost. I guess we could, like, boom, 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 overflow next turn. I should have waited a turn. I should have waited a turn. That, that was dumb. Because not being able to go off twice... If I... Ugh, I hate myself so much right now. I, I'm tempted to just concede. But that's just dumb. No, wait. Yeah. Let's see. Guardian Animals doesn't do anything. We drew <laughs> three beasts instead of one Guardian Animals. I guess I was just worried they were going to like have, like have be able to like Nether Breath us down. Like double Nether Breath. But that's a dumb thing to play around. I should have... The winning play was to wait a turn... Play the Kael'thas twice, because we would we would have been able to get off double overflow. Oh, hey there. And you know, I think I might just concede. I think we just lost. I I threw. I threw. And that's something I that I gotta learn with this deck. When to like go in with the Kael'thas. Oh, uh, well, well, hold up, hold up. Never mind. There is a chance. There is a chance. Boom. Boom. Why well, just buff the health on this some more? Force a sack pack. Or uh, Plague of Flames. Wow, I thought this game was so over. And I feel dumb for going for this overflow. We're never going to play it. It's just going to. I mean, the Survival of the Fittest probably wasn't going to be better at, without the Kale this. He has Galakron in hand. He can't fully invoke. It's impossible for him to be fully invoked this turn. Ysera can still win me the game. That's true. Ysera does know how to scam. She does like to scam. I think it's going to be like this turn we're going to set up the Twilight Runners. Or a Twilight Runner. Next turn we play Ysera. We attack with the Twilight Runner. We draw some dragons and hopefully scam a win. He's played his Kronks though. That's like... I feel like in this matchup you never... Like Galakron Warlock never really wants to play the Kronks to draw the Galakron. It has so much draw. It naturally just wants to draw into its Galakron. And then use the Kronks as burst. I think him using his Kronks might have been good in the moment to apply pressure. But I think long term is going to hurt him because he can't combo us out now. There we go. That's what we wanted. Let's get a uh, Mookla, please. Oh, that is a good one to get. That was good. Oh my, oh my god. We do this. My dream is your <clears throat> he just played Plague of Flames. I'm going to just taunt this up now. I don't think he could do anything about it. I'm calling him out. We could actually still win this game, guys. This is ridiculous. I played. I misplayed so poorly. But like he, he can't fully invoke his Galakrond and play it in the same turn. And that's a really big deal for this deck. Um, he doesn't have Kronks anymore. So I, I just don't know how he could like close the seal out this game. We go wide, we, we rip a overflow, we we draw dragons. We we go wider than he, he can deal with with like a plague of flames, and then I think we win. It seems like the way. It seems like the way, guys. I think we, we could just win off the Asera. Oh, the second plague of flames! There we go. He has another dragon in hand. That's good to know. Let's get something with taunt, please. <gasps> oh my god. Why did that... Did I, I, I must have gotten those door move, yeah. I was like, why did this... Why did the timer start going so fast? If I got something with rush, I'm going to want to trade in. Nothing with rush. 
Oh, I would want to play this last turn, actually. Nothing with Rush. Come on. So, do I skip his turn? I think I skip his turn. Ghidra feels good against aggro. That's true. I think it's meant to be good against aggro. I think we just broke the game. We're going to skip his turn. Maybe not. Did they patch this bug? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's no way you can win from here. Boom. Nature studies. Let's get a turn three overgrowth, please. I feel like both of these are just really bad. He's not, he's not like, never going to play a minion for us to cycle this off of. So I think we're better off just going for the swipe. Eh, you know, you never know. You never know. Don't you keep nature studies? I don't know, I was looking at a mulligan guide, and it seems like the best best cards to keep are Lightning Bloom, Overflow, Kael'thas, Guard Animals, and Overgrowth. And, and like, you can keep Nature Studies, but I think in this matchup especially, I want to get this Living Dragon Breath, or else we just auto-lose. Like, now we actually have a chance, um, which is nice. He's drawing a bunch of cards. And we're just not hitting any of our ramp. But honestly, I think you always just want to get overgrowth. Overgrowth, like if we had an overgrowth right now, look at look like look at the busted things we could be doing. Oh, he's definitely playing the OTK mage. Confirmed OTK. Brah, give us some ramp. We just gotta play this so we don't like overdraw later. We actually, in, yeah, no matter what, we're gonna overdraw with this overflow. So we actually have to, we'll cycle this wrath off here next turn, try to get some ramp. Oh, okay, no, never mind. We're just going to cycle that. Interesting. He's playing a slightly very, uh, different list. So he's guaranteed to get Blizzard next turn. I think we do something like this. Try to empty out our hand. There's no good or evil. There's only football. You will live for football. You will kill for football. You will die for football. Yep, just like uh, Grandma used to always say. It's probably too early to play this, though. We need to like give ourselves a board, and then we rip. Okay, yeah. Next turn we'll play the we'll play this uh, living dragon breath. Ooh. I think we play you. And we're gonna trade like this. So if he wants to Blizzard, he's gonna leave us with a minion that can attack on board. Wasn't NFL dying? I don't know. Yeah, Grandma was a big football fan. And see, now he leaves us with a minion that can attack. It's good for us. This is also sort of nice. He might freeze this. I don't think he will. He could. Another mirror image. That's annoying, but we'll live. Lake Thresher, that's nice. I think we, let's see, wait. We could do Boom. I want to get the Survival the Fittest down. Um, with the Kael'thas. So you could go off next turn. We need to get killed. This I don't. I don't think I said. I, I don't think I was playing aggressively enough here. Oh shit! If he gets Astromance to Solarium, we could kill it and shuffle it into his deck. I don't think he's gonna play that though. I'm gonna kill that. I think we need to like we just need to hope that we get Kael'thas off the top here. We do not 
That might just be instant lose for us. Have we seen both? We've seen both blizzards. I don't think we've seen both frost novas. I think we do this anyways. We try to get the Kel'thas. Um, Nourish for card draw. We, we just barely didn't get it. We were, just, we were just so off. We were just a little bit off. I think he just wins now. We need to get one more minion on board.